further autobiographical fragment, Swansea Abertower. And so I returned in a Sibaldian manner to 1983 to a dark, dank, decaying, tall house where, after experiencing a nervous breakdown of about two years duration, uh, probably owning, primarily owing to the suppression of my sexual orientation, I'd worked in a night shelter for homeless people for five months in Swansea, Abertawe being its Welsh name. There I underwent various vagaries, which included an attempted brutal knife attack on me, uh, my inadvertent setting fire to a flammable and poisonous mattress, and having to cut up a whole liver for the residents' evening meal on what was a swelteringly hot day, a task I can still visualise in horrendous detail, three-dimensionally vivid. The residents often had pet names. I changed them slightly to protect them, if they're still around. Like Hobo Jim, Toko, a gay man who frequented the cottage of the bus station, and when in a kind mood would offer me when I was on the all-night shift to obtain sweets for me from the local all-night service station, would even occasionally clear the house. There was also Elfred, who, who tried to hit me with his walking stick once, it being the policy of the shelter to search residents entering for the night for alcohol, a policy in regard to which, regarding Elfred, I was m mainly ignorant, i.e. that he was to be left on a alone uh, and not to be searched, so I got the consequences of that. But there were consolations too, I made lovely friends and there was a sense of comradeship with my colleagues in, in adversity. I even met a gay man I fell in love with and with whom I worked. Another particularly vivid image that I remembered is of the so-called sleeping in room, a space which consisted of a tiny room where the evening shift worker slept to ensure there was some emergency support if needed for the overnight worker the one who stayed up all night, or was meant to anyway, uh, where one resident had kindly knocked a complete of small hole in the extended, in, 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 to extend the room for ventilation purposes, there being no window. In retrospect, that I even did this job, I'm amazed. If I had not been naive and fairly fresh from university, and combined with an overwhelming self-justificatory, self-denying, sense of having to do good, brought about by my suppressed guilt about my sexual orientation and my beautiful mother's meritorious advice to help people more disadvantaged than ourselves. I don't think I would, could have done it. As it was, I lasted five months, one week, and left my lovely colleagues with, somehow incongruously, a box tape set of Mozart's Marriage of Figaro. I still like Swansea Apatawi, though the night shelter has been transformed to a bourgeois housing. It's still part of me.